Welcome to this how-to video for Zoom Text 10. Today we're going to walk you through how to use Background Reader. Background Reader is a tool that allows you to listen to documents, web pages, emails, or any text while simultaneously performing other tasks. Let's take a look at how it works. Before we can activate the Background Reader, we're going to need to select and copy some text to the Windows clipboard. Let's go ahead and open a news article on the web. From here, I'm simply going to click and hold my left mouse button down and select the text in the article. Now to copy the text, I can press Ctrl C on the keyboard or right click and choose copy. Then all I'll need to do is bring the Zoom Text toolbar up and click on background reader. He could become as famous as the faceless man who used to Immediately my text will be read aloud and I'm free to go about other tasks. A symbol of America Online came from a person by the name of Elwood Edwards. You probably never knew that, but John Briggs... On the background reader toolbar, you have buttons to pause and resume playback. Might be a different story. Different story. Restart your reading. He could become as famous... Or, if you've copied new text to the clipboard since you started background reader, the capture button will start reading that text. The Middlebury College Women's Soccer, Field Hockey and Volleyball teams are among a quintet. Along with this, you can navigate by previous sentence and word, or next sentence and word, by clicking on the appropriate navigation buttons. When you're done, simply click the exit button to close Background Reader. Now that we've shown you how to use Background Reader exclusively by using your mouse, we're going to show you how using hotkeys can tremendously increase your workflow. This time, we're going to open a PDF document we want to have read. Now, let's say I want to read this entire long document, and instead of selecting all the text, I'll press Control A to select all the text in the document, and then press Caps Lock S to immediately start Background Reader from my selection. Chapter 1 Down the Rabbit Hole Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank, and of having nothing to do. Once Notice that I didn't have to manually copy the text to the clipboard when using Caps Lock S. I simply selected the text and pressed the hotkey. Now I'm free to open other applications or documents while Background Reader continues to read, or if I'm in a school situation, start typing notes while Background Reader is reading to me. She had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice. Even if I'm in the process of doing something else, I can use the hotkeys to pause by pressing caps lock enter a day made her f and navigate by sentence using caps lock left and right arrow down the rabbit hole Alice was beginning to get very there was nothing so very remarkable in that as well as navigate by word using control caps lock left and right arrow think it's so very very much you can also have background reader speak the current sentence by pressing caps lock space bar there was nothing so very remarkable in that. Or speak the current word by pressing Control caps lock space bar. That. When I'm done using Background Reader, pressing caps lock escape will exit reading. For more information, or to purchase your own copy of Zoom Text 10, visit our website at www.aisquared.com or call us toll free at 800 859 0270.